Oh, what's this rejoin? Oh, that's so sketchy. Oh my god, he almost took me out. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We're on the grid. Um, I did not have a good qualifying run. There's 20 drivers on the grid for this one, and uh, I qualified in P14. I actually messed up my first qualifying run and got an off track in my second lap. So, yeah. Um, that said, a uh, 20 minute race uh, here at Okayama today, so there will definitely be uh, chances to make up uh, places and uh, yeah, uh, I would really like to get a top 10, so yeah, let's see what happens. I'm happy to be already on the inside uh, here. Left side. He's still there. Clear left. Now, if there is clear left. One thing about this combination is that it's extremely slippery. In practice, I had quite a quite a number of spins. Especially in the hairpins in the second part of the track, like where we're headed now. So I predict that there will be uh, several uh, spins around there, uh, especially on cold tires. Because even on warm tires it's quite difficult to keep it... Uh... There we go. These guys are taking each other out. He got dive bombed. Good thing it was easy to dodge. The man in car number 8 seems uh, quite... Uh, Aggressive, he took out uh, another guy. Oh, and I'm wide here. And that's what I mean. Like, the margin for error there is just basically nothing. I'm getting dive bombed. Let's let him through. Maybe I should have closed the door. I'm not sure. Can check out the replay later. Interesting start. Oh, oh, what is happening? What the hell was that? Where did that guy end up? Car right. Still there. Interesting. Hold your line. He's still there. Right side's clear. V12. Stuck in behind him. Very easy to make mistakes here and end up uh, off the track, as we've just seen. Oh, I went a bit too deep there. Oh, it looks like he uh, spun. Was that me? I don't think so. I don't think I touched him at all, but it might have been net code. Oh, there's more carnage. Two more cars out of the way. All right, everyone, let's check out the highlights from those spicy first two laps. First of all, we've got a dive bomb here. This is Gomez, uh, misses breaking point, locks up, and takes out Daniel Ganshar at the hairpin. He then moves over, a bit of shoulder to shoulder with uh, Angel Lopez there that ends up out on the gravel. They did not make contact, but it looked very close. Um, down the straight here, this is Kramer making a move on us. Nice and clean, he had more speed, he had draft. I didn't close the door, basically move. I chase him and here we, I almost end up rerending him because Gomez joined the, uh, entered the pits so late, he, I assume he didn't know where the entry was, which brought us super close together, almost rerended him, uh, which leads me to losing all my speed, which means that uh, my trade Zolk can make a move on me here at first corner, does it cleanly. Uh, this is Moho in the uh, cow livered car, um, coming together with John Walsh. Looked like a racing incident, but also he did lock up, so uh, debatable. And this is me and Zolk again. He comes out wide on the left, puts two wheels outside the track and ends up spinning away. So that's an easy overtake for me. So. I didn't touch him, as I thought I did, uh, because I did go quite deep myself into that corner. And uh, 
This is another dive bomb, uh, Mitchell in the 7-Eleven uh, Liberate car taking out uh, Milan Ritter. So yeah, that was everything for the first two laps and uh, let's rejoin the live action at lap 4. Oh, there he is. Classic. It, it just, in practice, it kept happening to me there as well. That's why I'm using extra caution around that complex of hairpins because it's so sketchy. The car, the rear just loves to go away there. Now the three guys, the four guys behind me are all within a second of each other, hopefully. Stay on it. Keep digging. They battle a bunch and let me get away. The more they battle, the better it is for me. Especially here, there aren't a whole lot of overtaking opportunities uh, on this track. So, in that sense, battling gets you to waste a bunch of time. It's not like Spalas week where you could just draft away on the long straight. Looks like there's been carnage behind. Because the gap has increased to two and a half. We can check that later in the replays. Hoo hoo hoo! Ah, that keeps happening. It just keeps happening. Look like... Here's another one. There he is. Oh, such a classic. That's really the theme of this week is this. And, and that's also, I think, with the with the IRO4. Like, it just loves to snap on, like, mid-speed corners. So, yeah, this track is a nightmare for it, but I, en I enjoy it. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Where... Watching the replays of the last couple of laps, this is from the Nürburgier, car number 13, overtaking Olsen, car number 1, the Haas Liberate, and uh, as he's heading down towards Redman, turn number 8, he understeers and ends up out wide on the gravel and the grass. And that is us overtaking him as he joins a four-way battle with Lawrence, Roost, and Pearson. This pack was basically running about uh, a second and a half behind me, but here Roost has uh, a lockup, almost loses control of his car, super slippery around here, um, and uh, this bunches the pack all together. Van der Nürburgring uh, has to take a step back, but goes three wide here. You've got Lawrence on the right in the purple and white car, he takes the inside line and actually ends up taking the lead of this pack, uh, going from third to first position in the pack and switching positions with Roost. Um, so obviously there was no carnage, but this slowed uh, this pack down and allowed me to get away a little bit. Uh, but once again, here we are at Redman and Van der Nurburg, who understeered just before, goes into an oversteer and ends up facing the wrong way. And the Haas that you saw facing the wrong way as well there, we're gonna see that in a moment. This is the Haas of uh, Ritter and there is minimal contact here and he basically ends up outside the track as well. This corner claimed the lives of so many drivers in this race. Trust me when I say that the drama is far from over. All right, let's rejoin the lab action now. This is the end of lap seven and I am currently running in P7. Or I might defend. Really depending on how it goes. I need a better exit around here this time. Ooh, that's not any better. All right, right side's clear. Good consistency, keep them coming. It's so slippery. Car left. He's still there. Take the inset line here. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. 
Hold your line. Clear left. Fair enough. This was uh, this was coming. I'm happy to to chase him if that helps me get closer to the guys up ahead. Speaking of the guys up ahead, let's um, fast forward a little bit and check out what happens here one lap later to the leader. This is Hackett. He's leading the race. He's going around Redman, and you guessed it. He loses the car. Fortunately, his gap to P2 is big enough that he doesn't lose the position. And this is Kramer. Exactly the same thing. Doesn't quite spin all the way, but still loses his car enough to be overtaken by three cars, including us. That's us overtaking him right there. So, with that in mind, let's go to the end of lap 13. We're about to start the last lap of the race, and I've picked up another position. So, I'm currently running in P6. Last lap. Gunshard might try something here. There's an incident in first corner. You think it might be Walsh. Oh, what's this rejoin? Oh, that's so sketchy. Oh my god, he almost took me out. Oh my days, that was so close. And now I'm under a. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna do this. I had to take evasive action there because he was coming in quite hard. I also, my car was... I did not position my car in the best way possible, to be fair. I should have just... Closed the door. And as Gunshar is pulling away from us in the last lap, let's see what happened here with Walsh. So, this is him. He almost uh, loses his car there at the end of the lap on last corner. And uh, Lawrence overtakes him. Now, he's going down the start straight... Uh, approaching first corner and as you can see once again it's like there's oil all over this track it just loses it now he thinks about rejoining stops at first to let one car through and then almost very nearly kills us I mean just take a look at how close we were to contact so, my recommendation in this case for anybody who spins their car is just don't move. Let everyone through and everything will be fine. So, that was interesting, but in any case, uh, join me here uh, back with the live action for the final turn of this race. Alright, and just like that, as we make our way around the last corner which is actually called last corner. We're gonna take it home, I believe, in P6. It looks like Hackett and Olsen. Two minutes to go, two minutes. P7, there's the finish. Oh, P7, Good never time. mind. Well, in any case, uh, that was fun. Got my P10, which is what I wanted, or my, my top 10, which is what I wanted. And, um, yeah, um... Two X's, so quite uh, a clean race. I'm very happy with that. It's uh, not easy around here. As you can see with uh, how many times we came close to carnage. So, yeah. Uh, let's take that. But uh, thank you very much uh, for tuning in, everyone. And uh, if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a like and uh, consider subscribing. If you raced uh, this uh, combination this week, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear uh, how your race went. And uh, take care everyone and see you in the next one.